Okie dokie, so here we go. We're starting off uh, the Tyrannus and Attackers. Uh, if you guys caught the uh, the defenders part of this, uh, our team got rocked pretty hard because um, if you're looking at the score on their team, pretty much every single one of their team got over 1,000 points. Which, uh, although it was a really long game, that just means that everybody on the team knows what they're doing, and uh, this is going to be one hell of a hard push with the attackers. So, uh, starting off, I go with some, uh, I got some Russian standard. Um, with some smoke, I think I do, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to run some smoke. Oh, is that shotgun? Yeah, that's smoke. I think I run. Um, grenade upgrade, and uh, what do I go? Body armor or explosive upgrade? I guess I figure if you're doing in the smoke, if they spot and spray you anyway, then body armor hasn't been working out for me that good. So grenades with the grenade upgrade, explosives should be alright. And, um, now we're moving on with some vanilla Russian weapons here. Let's see what I can do. Turn on this way, which I usually do. Uh, so I'm smoking out some, because I want to get a move on this crate, and I don't want them shooting me as I'm moving. So I'm smoking out all the usual spots where I think they might be uh, sticking around. Also, uh, I'm going to slay down a, uh, an ammo box here, because when you're smoking out, um, the smoke grenades reload a lot faster than any other type of grenade, so if you're on top of an ammo box, you can continually spam them out like that. So, uh, smoke worked out pretty well, because this guy in the window here had no idea that was going to come along this way, and uh, I caught him short. Uh, Benzella C4 in the crate, um, I think he gets armed here, so we have no choice but to defend it. We would have preferred to uh, just C4 the damn thing and have it over the, that way, but um, a friendly support came through and there's nothing we can do about that, so we just got to do what we can and hope they don't disarm it. Um, smoking out, so I can uh, do what I can, and uh, turns out <laughs> these guys get a hell of confused and manage to drop three of them, so that's the whole squad out of the way. And I think that pretty much means that we take A, so that's pretty good. Uh, thanks to the smoke, I um, couldn't be sniped from far, so I managed to just confuse the crap out of the people there. So that was a pretty win, in my opinion. So now we're going to move on B, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to smoke out where I think they're probably all going to be hiding from, protecting B. Um, uh, I noticed they take the Black Hawk there, maybe get a sneaky smoke kill on the Black Hawk, that would be quite epic, but um, don't manage it. Um, I kind of wish the uh, Black Hawk would have taken down more of this cover so I can actually smoke out where I want to. But uh, I can't really smoke out the other side of the crate because I can't actually fire up over this building right now. So I'm going to do what I can. Um, here, um, you see there, uh, my target was dead on then and then just before uh, he would have fallen, I started spraying erratically. That's because uh, I thought the first spray would kill him and I usually have focus. Like lose my concentration, focus on other threats when I put enough ammo into someone to think that would be enough for a person to drop. But uh, that guy caught me out with some uh, body armor on there because uh, he was a spec ops, and I usually don't see spec ops um, with body armor, so that caught me out then. I think about UAV, but because I got my black cork, um, UAVs are never good when they got air superiority like that. That's not going to work out well, so I'm going to do what I can on this fast movie here. Maybe come in. Uh, I know it's Benzilla zoomed off earlier. Some C4 trying to bum rush the crate. So let's see what I can do to help him. Um, I haven't really got a plan. This is kind of a Leroy Jenkins plan to attack. Uh, and guess how well that goes. I'm not quite sure what the hell I'm doing here. I managed to get one smoke grenade off, but uh, that doesn't do anything. So let's have a guess to suicide. He might have hit the crate then. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, that didn't work out too well, so start from scratch. Uh, I think we managed to arm the crate then. I don't know whether the smoke helped out or not. Um, I think uh, we just confused them, maybe. I don't know. Maybe our team actually did well, and their team actually sucked for once. I don't know. Um, I honestly can't say how that it got armed then. So I uh, was trying to see four on uh, Rush with this, the uh, UAV here, and hopefully the Black Pork won't see us. Um, turns out that uh, we actually did destroy the crate then, so uh, I think the plan here was to um, take out this black cork so we can use it. We've got C4 all over this UAV, so I'm uh, telling Benzilla to detonate about now, and nothing happens. 
turns out the C4s are duds and uh, they just won't explode. So we lose UAV and the Black Hawk's still circling. And that pretty much sucks. So, <laughs> back to the starting board. Time to move up on the second base. Luckily, we've got a fast mover here, so we're gonna have to walk. But uh, if we can get there quickly, um, fast enough, then hopefully we can armor crate and catch them off guard. Is that the plan? Maybe they want to stop and spawn camp. Usually, when teams are good, they tend to want to spawn camp. I don't know why that is. Um, they just think that maybe they are overconfident and they just stick around in your base trying to get kills off you when you can just come and do the crate. So I have a little recon of this thing here first, having a look, seeing what their team's doing. I don't feel confident about that one, so I drive straight into B over here, plus it's a harder crate to take. Just so managed to arm that. And it's armed. And I go and hide over here and hope they haven't got anyone stupid enough to be on the lighthouse. But uh, it turns out they do have a person on the lighthouse, because I get RPG'd from the lighthouse. And that is just ridiculous. Why the hell would they have an RPG on the lighthouse? That makes no sense to me, um, tactically, logically, physically, I just, uh, whatever. So, um, I'm smoking out, Benzilla c 4 ing um, Random crap like that happens, I guess. So I'm just going to smoke out as much as I can, set my ammo box to get with more smoke. I'm considering whether to arm it or not, I should catch that guy out with the smoke grenade. And, uh... Someone gets attracted by his corpse here, and uh, he comes around with his, his shotgun. Quite lucky he misses me twice, but of course he's, you don't get lucky three times in a row in this game. So, uh, just out, it looks like he had um shotgun upgrade, so, I don't know, maybe, I don't know why he missed. Maybe he just panicked, but he turned, he's come around the corner firing at me, so obviously he knew I was there. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of things I don't know about in this match, I guess. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I picked this kit. I guess I wanted some indir uh, indirect fire here, so I'm going with some uh, C4, some grenades, and um, see if I can take this terrain. Because the terrain is good about indirect fire here, especially around this rock area here. And with the motion sensor on this kit, I should be able to do well. Um, mainly because I suck at actually seeing who's there or not, and um, I suck at camouflage. This is just how much I suck at actually noticing people are here. I'm using the uh, radar heavily here, seeing where people are. And I look around, and the guy's right there, and I completely miss him. So, uh, camouflage is really good on this game. There's no really, not really an excuse for that. Motion sensor, always keeping an eye on my surroundings. Still worried about that lighthouse a bit. Dropping grenades at us, that's great. Trees are falling down. We're doing what we can, lock us up before. Uh, I can see the guys coming around here on the radar, so I'm going to catch him out, and uh, someone's lucky, uh, nice enough to bring us a fast mover here, so I'm going to try and see, put the rest of my C4 on this thing, and uh, hit the crate with it, this is at least what I try to do. Also, it doesn't quite work out like that, um, I do manage to hit the crate, though not as strongly as I'd like, uh, I managed to get to cover here, which surprises me, I noticed my grenade's got a hit register there, so I try and finish that guy off, but... Uh, that's just not going to uh, work out straight because i got people to alert for that. Now, uh, check out part two, guys.